Generative AI art. Some people love it, some people haven't yet learnt to love its wonders. But for those of you who have embraced the power of AI, we sometimes think, wouldn't it be great if you could just click on a thing in a picture to change it? Like, I want to change these curtains to, to all be red, but I have to do a mask and it's all feeling all fiddly and awkward and all a little bit too much like traditional art. I'm an explorer in latent space. If only there was a way I could just segment anything. Oh, wait, there is. Yes, it's called segment anything. And its power is now also available directly inside the automatic 1111 web interface for Stable Diffusion. With Segment Anything, all you have to do is pick your segment, and just like Robert is your father's brother, you've got your mask cracking. For this to work, you'll need to have two extensions, the first one being ControlNet, and the second one being InPaint Anything. Both of these can be installed via the Extensions tab on the Automatic 11.11 web interface. I've already done a video on ControlNet, and chances are that you have it installed already too. Just make sure it's up to date, and you've downloaded at least the in-painting model. This is an awesome model, and towards the end of this video, I'll also show you a cool trick you can do using the in-painting model for out-painting instead, just like on the screen there. For the InPaint Anything extension, the model download can be done directly from the InPaint Anything tab, so that's even easier than with ControlNet. So just a recap on that exact step-by-step -step installation process for this InPaint Anything extension, you'll need to install the InPaint Anything from the Available tab, go to the Installed tab and click Apply and Restart, and finally, go to the InPaint Anything tab and download a model. There are a number of different models to choose from. As you can see there, you've got base, large, or huge. Large is the default. HQ versions are also available. I like big models and I most definitely cannot lie. So I mostly use HQ Vit H myself, though sometimes you do need to switch models to get the actual segment you want. All right, now you've got everything installed. It is time to segment. The basic three-step process using the defaults is very quick and easy. All you have to do is provide your image, click Run Segment Anything, select the segments you want, click Create Mask, select your text prompts, and finally click Run Control Net in Paint. This way of doing it is quick and works well when you want to change fairly similar things, keeping the overall style of the image so that your in paint isn't that obvious. For example, say I had an image of a painting, then anything I in-paint in that will be in the same style as that painting. If I just run through those three steps now, so step number one is to select an image. I'm going to use that painting, and then I need to run Segment Anything. On the segmented area, I just have to click on something. So there, I'm going to select her hair, and then click Create Mask. As the cursor is a little black dot, it can be quite hard to see in some of the black areas. But hey, there's also an invert mask option there as well, should you wish to have everything apart from that which you have selected. I'm on the Control Net In Paint tab here over on the left. For the positive prompt, I'm going to have some curly ginger hair, and I'm also going to throw a little bit of a negative prompt in there as well. And so the final thing then is just to run the Control Net In Paint. Et voila, there she is. She now has curly ginger hair. If you like, you could now replace that input image with the one you just generated, pick a different segment, create a new mask, and then change a different area on the image. Do be aware, however, that if your input image and output image have changed size in between there, you will need to run segment anything again. Digging a bit deeper, you'll find there are plenty of things that you can play with. Hopefully something there will meet your requirements. We've got some advanced options there and also some control net options too. For example, the preprocessor has a couple of different options. The default one is absolutely fine, in paint only, but you could also do in paint and in paint only plus Llama. In paint is fairly decent and just changes the entire image. It doesn't actually use the mask you created, so I tend to ignore that one entirely. In paint only is fairly new. That came with ControlNet 1.1, and in paint only plus Llama is almost exactly the same, but the result can be a little bit cleaner. 
You've also got the various standard control net options there, such as the mode and reference only control net as well, if you want that also nicely compacted into that interface. For some of the other tabs there, we've got in painting. This is basic in painting, essentially the old way, and it doesn't use your normal model. It only uses the models listed there, which are in diffusers format. So you'll probably have to download if you use anything in that tab. I tend to just ignore it personally. The next tab is the cleaner because sometimes you just need to take things to the cleaner. This allows you to sort of blank out areas of an image. If we use that same angel and I select her wings instead to make a mask there and then run the cleaner on it. As you can see, we now have some fairly blank wings. It sort of flattened it out and got rid of all the feather detail. Mask only is the final tab in here and that allows you to get an alpha of the image or you could get the mask as well. The mask is very handy because then you can scroll down and send to image to image in paint and carry on and do all the things that you normally would. So here you can select mask content original, pick whatever sampling method and add whatever control nets you like as you normally would. Like I mentioned at the start, control net in painting isn't just for in painting as it's absolutely great at out painting too. For example, here I'm using the usual out painting mark II script. There we've got Outpainting Mark 2, 128, 12 masks, just do all the directions and it comes out a little bit like that, which is okay, it's just not very harmonious. However, if we use ControlNet's new InPaint Global Harmonious mode, then, well, we get something quite different. So let's enable that. I've got InPainting, the preprocessor there is InPaint Global Harmonious and we're using the same Outpainting Mark 2 script. Just the defaults there for the weight and step, but I have selected the control mode. Control net is more important. Now, when we run that through instead, we get a completely different image, which I think you'll agree is indeed far more harmonious. No, that's a harmonica. All right, we're just gonna have to ignore that. Move on to the next.